Today I'm going to give you every tip I've learned about motor vlogging in the UK during the past six months in six to ten minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so as I said in the intro, today I'm going to give you every single motor vlogging tip that I've learned in the past six months as a motor vlogger in the UK. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler, where I'm sharing my experience of becoming a motor vlogger and putting out content about my bike, which is this Triumph Street Scrambler. And so far I have learned some valuable lessons within six months which people don't often talk about and I feel like it would be a good idea to share those experiences with with you guys now number one and it's possibly the most important one on this entire list is nobody cares what a cool bike nobody cares about your motor vlog especially when you're starting out who cares who you are or what bike you ride why should people watch you and that's something that you've just got to come up with and find your style of uh, motor vlogging. So for me, that was my tip for this would be to create engaging content that people want to watch and listen and will then listen to your opinion on. So for me, I started creating uh, the five things series, which I'm probably going to do another one of because uh, I got a couple more things that I'm I'm not keen on on the bike so I might be throwing that out soon but yeah so I did like five things I hate about the Triumph Street Scrambler I don't hate this bike I went out and I spent good money to buy this bike so why would they then go and say I hate it because it's an engaging title and it gets a discussion going in the comments and so many people pointed out things uh, that I wish I'd come up with as well in my list and it helps create that community and it gives people a reason to subscribe to your channel rather than uh, you know just um just like starting a motor vlog being like yeah look at me i'm going out and i'm doing all this stuff nobody cares so that's tip number one for you just create engaging content and the content that people want to watch rather than just thinking that people are going to watch your videos because you're you're a youtuber and you you make content about motorbikes that's that's not enough unfortunately especially in this day and age <laughs> Oh dear. Um, number two. Number two has to be the consistency aspect. If you're not consistent, especially when you're starting out, people will not care about your videos. People won't watch them because they don't know when to come back and find new content. So for me, I said I was going to post one video every single week uh, this year. That was my goal. And so far, I have failed at my own advice and I have not stayed consistent. I have, I started off really well and I put out a fair few videos and then I ran out of content because it's winter in the UK and I thought, no, it'll be alright, I'll just put on loads of layers, I'll go out and ride and I'll get content. It doesn't work like that, especially when there's, um, the roads aren't great, when it's when it's wet and cold, no one wants to watch that. They want to they want to watch you going out having fun in the sun with with people and, and if you can't get out and do that then people aren't going to keep coming back so consistency is massive for me i like to post every single sunday a, about 6 p.m it gives people a chance to watch it in the evening and then it gives it the week long uh pause between videos which is it's, it's doable man but sometimes you might have to go to every two weeks so maybe for the winter a good idea would be going over into two weeks one video every two weeks and then summer maybe smashing out maybe two videos a week if you can handle it um, and then yeah consistency will prove results it's been known people come back when you're consistent and you're providing engaging content like i said earlier uh, those two are a massive recipe for success you've only got to look through my channel and you'll see the videos that did really well and the videos that didn't do so well. Number three for me has to be the audio. 
people can forgive the camera quality not being amazing but if your audio sucks because it's just wind noise after wind noise after wind noise then why would they come back and watch your videos when they know that they can't hear necessarily what you're saying so you might notice now I'm rocking the Scorpion uh, Scorpion Evo HX1 which is like their their retro helmet and it is absolutely sick but it also provides the best audio quality especially here in the winter when it is really windy summer I'm going back to the full face but for now this thing does great I hate sitting at lights and motor vlogging man it's, it's just weird all right where were we audio quality that's where we were you'll notice that my audio should sound really crisp and even the pipe audio as well that comes through really crisply as well that's because i'm using two microphones to record this audio now years and years ago the only way to create a motor vlog was to get a purple panda a gopro and a gopro audio adapter mic adapter so that you could plug one into your helmet and then you had this big ugly adapter on your face the gopro on your face and things look really unclean now for me my setup's become a lot easier oh he just pulled out in the way that i've just got the camera on my face with its mic receiver and then inside my helmet i have one dji mic and uh, in my backpack, surrounded by a little uh, neck warmer, neck tube, I have another DJI mic, and that one captures my pipes, and that is a massive thing for audio quality. If you can get the sound of your bike across as well, like, for example, like this. It sounds so much better than just having wind and voice. Like, now I can have both bike and uh, and voice so if I'm like starting with my words I can just drop my voice track and I can put in the audio of just the bike and then you wouldn't know because you can't see my mouth moving inside my helmet you can only only hear me oh yeah this road is probably one of my most favorite roads in the entirety of the of Norfolk it is absolutely incredible especially for bikes in the summer this thing is packed in April I think I'm the only one out it's in a Vespa <laughs> it's, it's warm enough to get out on the bike at the moment which is great moving on then first things first let's get around this car because uh, I want to sit behind it And I, ever since I put the Zards on this thing, I cannot get over the exhaust sound. I literally, I used to listen to music all the time, and now I don't. I just, uh, I just can't ride. Anyway, back to the tip. So, the next tip for me is your thumbnail design. You need to create some kind of branding, whether that is um, as simple as what I do. I put black and white text boxes around my. Uh, around what I'm trying to say about what the motor vlog's about and what have you and that seems to work a treat it's iconic it's easy and just getting good quality thumbnails for your videos will help massively uh, I used to think too much about it I used to think I needed like this professional photo for it but sometimes just a snippet from the video will do oh man always stuck in behind traffic on this road though like when it's clear this thing is incredible when it's not it's a bit boring but oh well you win some you lose some i'm heading out to the coast today uh planning on filming a couple of videos because i want my backlog to my backlog to be up there and um the only way to do that is to get out and film 
But as I was saying, thumbnail design is absolutely huge and uh, having good quality thumbnails. Oh yeah, easy. My hood's starting to flap around in the wind a bit. <laughs> Having those good quality thumbnails will massively improve the viewers coming towards your videos. And like my final tip, I guess kind of a bit of a bonus one would have to be make your audience feel welcome. If they leave a comment, don't just like it, give them a reply, talk to them, create a conversation and create that community that you're, you're working towards. Because ultimately this, this place, YouTube is a massive community of people who are into the same things as you and that is is why we're doing it we're creating a community if you're not creating a community you are trying to get famous and if you're trying to if you do this to get famous you're doing it all wrong do it because you enjoy doing it do it because you love riding motorbikes and who cares if they get 100 views a thousand views when a view, video of mine hits a thousand views i celebrate like it's the first time every single time because it is a massive achievement. A thousand people watched your video on five things you love about the Triumph Street Scrambler. That's incredible stuff and it's something to be proud of. So every little win, no matter how big or how small your channel is, just enjoy the process of making content and don't chase the fame. It's so much easier and, and, and so much better when you do that because you don't care what numbers the videos do doing it for the love of documenting your riding journey haha <laughs> skip friend and that's what it's all about boys that is it anyway hopefully you enjoyed this one if you do leave a comment down below about anything that i might have missed any tips you guys have for me i am learning i am creating this channel slowly so Leave a comment down below, like the video if you do, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos, and, and, I'll see you in the riding season, baby. Peace.